हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सारिका श्रीवास्तव वी आर डिस्कसिंग द टॉपिक एक्विजिशन ऑफ न्यू जीन्स टुडे इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टिश्यू प्लाज्मिनोजन एक्टिवेटर जीन एंड आल्सो इनकॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ जीन्स फ्रॉम अदर स्पीशीज इनटू एन ऑर्गेनिज्म जीनोम डोमेन शफलिंग एंड डुप्लीकेशन इन टिश्यू प्लाज्मिनोजन एक्टिवेटर जीन एज वी कैन सी हियर Epidermal growth factor gene with multiple EGF exons are shown in green, whereas fibronectin genes with multiple finger exons are shown in orange, and plasminogen gene with a kringle exon is shown in blue. With the help of these, TPA gene is made. So, a segment of EGF uh, comes along with a segment of fibronectin and a segment of Kringle exons come and combine together in the TPA gene. Also, the Kringle exon duplicates, leading to a formation of the entire TPA gene as it exists today. Domain shuffling and distribution is illustrated by tissue plasminogen activator, a protein that is found in the blood of vertebrates and which is involved in blood clotting response. The TPA gene has four exons, each coding for a different structural domain. The upstream exon codes for a finger module that enables the TPA protein to bind to fibrin, a fibrous protein found in the blood clot and which activates TPA. This exon appears to be derived from a second fibrin binding protein, fibronectin. The second TPA exon specifies a growth factor domain which has apparently been obtained from the gene for epidermal growth factor and which may enable TPA to stimulate cell proliferation. The last two exons code for Kringle structures which TPA uses to bind to fibrin clots. These Kringle exons come from the plasminogen gene. Now evolution of genes with novel functions. So here we will take the example of lysozyme gene. So this lysozyme gene was duplicated and evolved into the alpha lactalbumin gene in mammal. So lysozyme is an enzyme which helps to protect animal against bacterial infection. And alpha lactalbumin is a non-enzymatic protein that plays a role in milk production in mammals. Now we have seen a conversion of lysozyme to alpha lactalbumin. Now acquisition of genes from other species. So there are three main ways in which new genes can be acquired from other species. Number one is lateral gene transfer. That is the transfer of genes from one species to another. Comparisons of bacterial and archaeal genome sequences suggest that lateral gene transfer has been a major event in the evolution of prokaryotic genomes. The second method is conjugation. So conjugation means transfer of DNA between two bacteria that come into physical contact with one another. For example, it enables plasmids to move between bacteria and frequently results in the acquisition of new genes acquired, new genes functions by the recipients. The third method is transformation. It is the genetic alteration of a cell resulting from the direct uptake and incorporation of an exogenous genetic material from its surrounding through the cell membrane. A process, a second process for DNA transfer between prokaryotes Transformation is more likely to have an influence on genome evolution. Gene flow by transformation can occur between any pair of prokaryotes, not just closely related as in the case with conjugation and could account for the transfer that appeared to have occurred between bacterial and archaeal genomes. Thank you.